Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. We're diving into an exciting project using Ascent Combat Framework with the awesome Sinti sci-fi assets. Over the course of this series, we're going to be revamping the ACF HUD with a sci-fi twist, introducing mechs, enhancing our weapons, and creating an immersive space-themed experience using Sinti assets. If you're interested in leveling up your game development skills, make sure to check out the links in the description. You can get your hands on Sinti products and support me on Patreon. Also, feel free to join our growing community of game developers on Discord to share your progress and get feedback. Let's jump into it and start crafting our sci-fi adventure. So in this tutorial I'll be using the sci-fi soldier HUD pack, the polygon mech pack, the sci-fi city pack, and the sci-fi space pack. I'd also recommend getting the sci-fi worlds pack and the sci-fi cyber city which I'm going to be buying for this series as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So in my description I've linked TC Mabe's YouTube video specifically this link itself and that's because in his description he has this downloadable project where you can download the Google Drive and you just want to download this ue 5 cintirigrar file which is a zip if you're going to be using Sinti assets, I do recommend using these. They are really useful for rigging the Sinti skeleton to Unreal Engine 5. And then once you open this project up, it'll come with the ABP, IK Retargeter, and so on. You just want to right-click your content folder and migrate this over to the project that you're working in. So hit OK and make sure it's going to the content and make sure it's going to the content of whatever project you're migrating this to. And now that that's migrated, I can begin setting up my Sinti characters, but let's also add all those other let's also add those other Sinti packs like the sci-fi space and the HUD and so on and now that I've migrated those Unreal Engine projects so the polygon mech sci-fi and sci-fi space into my project I just need to drag and drop this Sinti sci-fi HUD right here and it's just a folder of PNG so that'll migrate just fine and now I'm just going to save everything real quick and now I'll go into the Sinti folder that we migrated from TC Mabe's UE5 retargeter and I'm just going to copy paste or just copy this name called SK Sinti polygon Unreal and now I'm going to go through every single mesh of my sci-fi and sci-fi space or every single skeletal mesh for the characters just so I can assign the new skeleton. So I'm just going to highlight over all of these, right click. So I'm going to right click and then under skeleton, I'm going to click assign skeleton and just select this SK Sinti Polygon Unreal and do it for every single one. And I just got to paste the name in, hit accept or left click and then hit accept and do this one at a time. And now that's the sci-fi folder and I'll do the same for the sci-fi space. And now I'm just going to save all. Now I'll just remove my filters, open up my space a bit, go to windows, make sure world setting is checked and open up selected game mode and go over to my default pawn class. In this case, it is ACF ultimate player. If you are using the full sample and not ultimate, that's totally fine. That works too. And now under the skeletal mesh, I'm just going to select one of those Sinti skeletal meshes. And for the skeletal mesh, I'm just going to choose this space soldier male. And then for the anim class, I'm going to look for that ABP Sinti. And I'll just find this in the content browser, double click to open this. And I'll, I can just show you that if you hover over this retarget post from mesh, it's going to be using that IK retargeter underscore Sinti that TC made for us, which just retargets our pose that we're working on. So it just makes it really easy to just use the animations that are already in Ascent to Combat Framework in order to just make this work. So now if I hit play, you'll see my character. He has some issues with the weapons going up his crotch. And that's just because um, we didn't set up the sockets on his characters. But when you click I and open up your inventory, it already does come with some pistols and shotguns in Ascent Combat Frameworks. They're not really the best. They're actually very basic, but we're going to go ahead and fix that up with some, hopefully finding some free animations online. So let's go ahead and set up some of the sockets. So in order to set up these sockets, all I need to do is just open up the bone of the mesh itself, which is going to be right here in that Sinti folder. So the SK underscore, this SK Sinti polygon unreal, like so. And then the other thing I need to open is head over to your ACF ultimate or full sample player, double click to open it up, go to the mesh and just find this SKM Manny. It's going to be in the ascent combat framework folder and look for that ACF underscore UE5 mannequin. And this is going to be in your ascent combat framework plugins, or I guess engine folder. And what I really recommend you to do is actually just copy paste your plugins, your ACF plugins into your project folder as a separate thing. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that because we are going to make edits to this ACF UE5 skeleton. So I'm just going to right click on my content over here and click show in Explorer. And then when this is open, I'm going to go back to the parent of this. So it's called ACF ultimate. And I'm going to right click and create a new folder and just call this plugin. And now we want to navigate to our Unreal Engine folder and just copy paste those plugins in here. So open up your local disk C and then go to program files. And then I'll look for Epic Games, go to UE 5.4, because that's the that's the version I'm using. 
and then engine, and then plugins. And then you'll see a folder called marketplace like so. And in here I'll see my ACF ascent combat framework, but I also want to copy my tool set and UI tools because I do have the full package in order to get ultimate. And then I'm just going to copy these three by right clicking, selecting copy, just going to hold shift and select these three and then hit control C to copy and then go back to my other folder and then go back into this plugins folder that I created and just paste those three folders in. And I can close the marketplace folder and I can also close my, actually I won't close my project folder. I'll go back to the parent and you'll see that right now when I close this content, you can only see content and engine. And now let's restart this. And now that I've restarted, you're going to see that in our content, under our content, we have this plugins folder now and engine. So engine we can ignore, but our content is going to be where we're going to be editing our Ascent Combat Framework stuff. And one of the great things about this is the references are already set. So for example, as you saw previously, when I open up my ACF Ultimate Player character, like so, and go to that skeleton of my mannequin on the mesh. So when I hit find in content for this SKM Manny, it's actually taking me in my plugins folder now, as opposed to my engine folder. And now I can edit the ACF UE5 mannequin here to only affect this project, as opposed to affecting all my other projects that work with Ascend Combat Framework. And this is just good practice because if you edit this in your engine content, then all the rotations, all the sockets, everything will be changed for all your projects using Ascend Combat Framework, using this plugin itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy these sockets. And I also need to open my Cinti one and I'll just paste it in. So unfortunately, since Cinti is spine one, two, and three, and not four and five, when I try to copy paste into spine five, it won't actually go there. It'll just copy paste in my root, but I'll just have to drag and drop each one of these. I'll just drag and drop one at a time in order to, my, to go to my spine three, but no worries on that. But if spine 03 matches the socket or the bone name of Spino3 here, I can just copy paste into it and it'll work just fine. And I'll show you an example. So there's a hand underscore left that has spell left, left hand socket, bow hand, and so on. And I can just copy that under my hand underscore left. When I hit paste, it'll all just be here and they look correct, but I'll make any adjustments afterwards. And same thing with hand underscore R. I'm just going to copy arrow, spell, pistol, etc. Oh, and weapon R to the hand underscore R of this skeleton. Just like that. And I'm just going to scroll down, look for more sockets that I can possibly copy over. There's a foot underscore L socket. I'm not sure what this is for. And a kick start. Although we don't have any kick animations, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it's for, but I'll copy over it just in case. So calf underscore R right there. And then ball underscore R will have kick end. And then foot R has a socket as well. And I think that's good. So I'm just going to save this skeleton. And now when I go ahead and hit play, you're going to see that the sockets are on my character. It just looks a little off because this Cinti character has a backpack on it. But when I hold my sword, they're going to be backwards and I can just change that in the sockets. And let's go ahead and see how to do that. So I'm just going to go to my skeleton and then let's say in the appropriate socket. So I'm just going to go to content look for that ACF sword, double click to open this. And I'm going to scroll down just to see what sockets it's on. You don't need to know how to do this if you're completely new. We're going to go over this. So under the ACF tab, I'm going to open up the weapon and look for on body socket and in hand socket. So single hand weapon and SH sword equip. So let's look for that single hand weapon. So that's going to be my hand hand R. So right here, single hand weapon. I'm just going to right click add a preview and look for a sword like so. And you're going to see it does look on. It does look kind of wrong, just like it was on my hand. I'm just going to turn this around, move it down a little bit to where the hand is have it come up a little and maybe twist it just so the blade, I think the blade has to be outwards. I think that should be good. So I'll just play this one real quick. And when I hold it on my hand, it looks correct. Yeah, this looks pretty, this looks fine to me now. So now let me go ahead and do that with each of the other weapons and I'll bear it back and you should probably do this too. And I'm just doing it for the swords and that's it. And also make sure it's equipped properly on your back, wherever you'd like to see it by going over to your equip. So in this case, it was SH sword equip. I'm just gonna add a preview asset of that sword and see how it looks on my back. So currently it's like this. I know this character itself has a backpack, so it's gonna clip through that giant backpack, but this looks fine to me for now. And I'm just gonna go over to my full sample or content folder, full sample, blueprints, items, and weapons. And I'm gonna be focusing on the ACF pistol and the ACF shotgun for now. So I'm gonna just check those sockets. So it's pistol and pistol equip. 
And then for the shotgun, it is rifle and rifle equip. So I'm going to go back to my, and I think this will look a little better. I'll have to adjust this in runtime. So let me just double check this out. So now when I equip my, my shotgun, and that's not really the angle you want to be shooting in. So I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to fix that up. And it's currently using IK. So that's why you see the right hand stuck on the gun or the left hand stuck on the gun like that. But we just need to match up the, uh, the gun to wherever my right hand is. So this looks a lot better. And let me see if I can move my IK hand or my hand a bit forward. Now, when you open up your weapon, like the ACF pistol and shotgun, you can go over to your viewport and click on left handle IK weapon. And let me show you while this is running. Basically, wherever you place this scene component is where your left hand is going to be. And you'll have to change it per weapon. So for example, if I move this really far forward, my hand will come out. If I move this really high up, my hand will just kind of be weird and so on. And you can just really place this however you'd like. And I'll just try to make it look as good as possible, like so. I'm trying to make it look as accurate as possible. It's a little hand because my it's a little hard because my hands are huge and this gun is kind of small. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't look too drastic. But I'm gonna increase the size of this. Maybe turn it a little like that. And then change that left hand IK. All right, this looks fine to me. Yeah, I'll keep it like this. So I'll just stop the game, hit compile and save. And I also wanna do this with the ACF shotgun. So I'll hit play again, equip my shotgun, hit three on my keyboard to equip this. And then while right clicking to aim down, I'm gonna hold F8 or click F8 so that my character is showing the shotgun. And for his left hand IK position, I'm just gonna move this up a little and maybe out like so. So his hand's not being covered by this barrel. And now it looks like he's actually holding it. I'll put it back a little. And yeah, this looks, this looks pretty good to me. So I'll exit, compile, save. Now let me just go around and see how it looks to actually just shoot some of the enemies. So now when I take out my gun and right click, you're gonna see this aim cursor come up. I'm just gonna mow these guys down. And if you notice that you get experience while reloading, that's because R is the test button. It's to reload and also to get experience. So let me just, okay, nice. <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty good, but we're gonna make quite a few adjustments to it and get our own weapons and own shooting style and so on. But let's go ahead and actually change. Um, and yeah, that's all for the first video. We got our characters working. We line up the gun a bit, learn some left hand IK and got our Sinti models to actually work properly with Ascent Combat Framework. And yeah, thanks for watching part one. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. If you want to support my channel, feel free to check out my Sinti and my Sinti affiliate link and the Patreon in the description below. And feel free to join our Discord community. It's a growing group of Unreal Engine developers. And yeah, thanks for watching.